starting my bike ride Saturday. I'm going to do a white balance at the beginning of my video. Hopefully, gets me good color. A little white, uh, white, gray, and black card. Just a short ride because today's Saturday. My wife <coughs> wants to get going. Have a little new chest mount attachment so I can don't have interference with the audio. I have a, a PD battery attached to the GoPro Hero 10. Like always, I start off with no assist power. This is the third time I'm riding my bike. Still have to get used to the mirrors. There's a car behind me. Hopefully it passes me. There it goes. Like the mirrors. The mirror. A little nippy out today. I might flip on my gloves. I am using the Hero Black, Hero Black, Hero 10 Black in flat color profile with the media mod attached with the, with the widest angle lens that the GoPro provides. I have the beta firmware on the Hero. These are my Cannondale gloves I haven't never worn because I never used to ride in the winter time. Uh, the drop seat is kick butt when you come to a stop so you don't have to dismount from the bike. Start off with the hilly section. These zippers can be a little bit easier. I should make this so it fits the iPhone. So I'm going to use this uh, gray card, white, gray, and black every time I start my ride. I'll leave it in my bag. Hopefully, I can get it to fit. Of course not. Okay, trying to get the system down so it's going to be quicker with these videos. Riser. I call it a riser seat, but I think the proper term is. Drop a post. Of 
full charge, 99. Coming up to my little hill that I always go up. I gotta find my uh, dead cat wind muffling thing for my for my mic. Definitely using my legs. But the bike is big time helping me out. One thing you cannot do with the regular bike is downshift or shift your gears going up a hill. I'm on gear eight. I might roll off 14 speed. Still have to attach my heart rate monitor. And of course, I don't have a routine yet. Apple iWatch, having a bicycle tracking now, which does give me heart rate readings. Drop a seat, back up. Still get used to this. Uh, controlling on the left hand makes me feel like I'm riding a motorcycle <laughs> today would be a short ride Saturday, small shop Saturday. Tibble's nice, going up hills. You can still feel it in my legs. benefits of uh, e-biking. On turbo I can do a few fast pedals and I can get up to 25 miles an hour, get through that green light. On this bike, a large high speed with roll off, you don't even realize with dual shocks. You don't even realize you're doing 20, 25 miles an hour. Yeah, I'm not pedaling very fast. I'm 
I'm on gear 12 and I'm doing about 20 miles an hour. One of the things I just noticed when I downshifted and started pedaling uphill, I felt this, the assist assisted me more, which I thought was pretty cool. really great having these dual shocks going over like manhole covers and little deviations in the road still have to work instead of moped I'm gonna go left instead of right today. I think we're in Waltham, Massachusetts. And I always walk by this building, but I never came down here. Ooh, they have charging stations. I didn't know that. How cool is that? I think more companies should offer charging stations for EVs. BTC Power. I'm not sure if it's level two or three. So this is, if you can see this company, they're the ones that have the EV chargers in the parking lot. And this company, which I'll come over here so hopefully you can see it has these really cool windows which I see it looks very industrial things you do on the e-bike tool around exploring Well, at least I know there's, if I ever get an, an e-car, there's a charging station right down the road from where I live. Pretty cool. Be even cooler if they had a place to plug in an e-bike. I'm gonna go right. <laughs> what the locals call 128, I'll call it I-95. It's just like a nice little hill for me to go up.
at the moment in my fitness level, I'll stick with the uh, turbo going up hills. As I get stronger, I'll use the turbo less and less. I can definitely feel it in my legs. But when I go down the gear eight, it seems to be a lot less effort and more assist. Gear nine, more work. But gear eight on a roll off seems to be easier. And I'm still doing 12 miles an hour going up this hill, which I would not be doing on my regular bike. I must love riding my bike in headwind. Back down the turn when I'm coasting downhill. Good headwind. You can feel it even with my body weight in this the weight of this bike. I can still feel the wind push me. Still think we're in Waltham, Massachusetts. I have never been on this road before. Water supply. I think this is the water supply for Cambridge, Massachusetts. Right now I've done 4.3 miles. I'm on a road called Trapello. Trapello. This is a nice steep hill. Looks like it's pretty long. I'm on gear eight. I think the bike is doing, doing a lot of the work. I'm still doing about 12 miles an hour. This is a long hill. This is one of the main reasons why I got this bike is the dual battery, 85 newton meters of torque step through, and it can hold my body weight. This is a very steep hill. Wow. I went down to gear two. There we go. Gear three. Back down the tour. Back up to sport. So this bike has the comfort handlebars 
which have us nice little bends on the ends. My, I'm in, bent over slightly, but which I think is not a bad thing. So far after three bike rides, no back pain, no knee pain, and no arch pain, and no shin pain. My legs, on, I know I'm getting, getting exercise because I can feel it in my legs, which I don't think is a bad thing. I used to do CrossFit, and in CrossFit, the majority of the exercises is leg strength exercises because the leg muscles are the biggest muscles. So if you're working those muscles, I guess you get, you'll get more fit. That's why I always like to ride my bike. I can see more. And when I noticed reviewing my previous walking between three to five miles, pretty much up the path we took today, up into that second night, my average heart rate was about 118 on the on the bike. I think it's around 128. And I get to see a lot more. And I really enjoy it much, much more. I wouldn't be out here right now if I didn't have this bike. And I wouldn't be on my bike if I didn't have this bike. I'll probably be back home watching TV, getting ready to go out with the missus with no exercise. So today I got exercise that I would normally not, not be doing. I might have went for a short walk, but I wouldn't be getting the uh, beats per minute on my heart right now that I'm getting on this bike. Bedford Road. I was mentioning to Steve, e-bike shop owner, that there are a lot of hills where I live. Looks like I wasn't lying. That's a cool looking church. I'll do a little 360 so you can see it. It's called the Parish House. Hopefully you can see it. Looks a little gothic and it has a bell up on top. Sort of reminds me of the Saads in Norway. A little bit. Hopefully you can see it. Drop a seat. If you're thinking about getting one of these bikes, highly, highly recommend this dropper seat. There's a fellow piece of Mueller bike rider that I've seen fall off his bike a couple of times coming to a stop without the dropper post. <clears throat> I'm not sure if his bike he didn't come with it, but I did mention to him that my bike has it. I never want to ha dump my bike at a stop. Turbo, gear seven, going up this nice little hill and lots, lots of assistance. So far we've done seven miles. This is very steep. Did that change gears and I can feel it in my legs.
One of the things I like about this bike once again, I would never be coming over here, checking out this soccer field. One of the things I have to remember to do is drink water on my bike rides. If you get one of these bikes, you should definitely get one of these fabric water bottles that attaches to the bike. So Visa Mueller and Fabric work together to get this attachment system that clicks clicks right into the bike. Butcher School, Rainfield. Never been here before? I have never been on this road before. <clears throat> this is like an exploring bike. Get to check out things that I never get to check out before. I have no idea where I am. It looks like this is uh, Route 2. It's cool if they have a bike path. Check it out. I think I'll go, uh, try it out. Didn't say no uh, bicycles on this. And I will go into Turbo and not to be on this very long. Apparently doing about 30 miles an hour. I think I get up to 38, 39 miles an hour on max. In 14th gear. Well, that was amazing. Hopefully you guys liked it too. Very steep hill. Turbo. Gear six, but I gotta stay the right side. Give the output too much. Yesterday was my wife and I anniversary, and of course Thanksgiving. We had a I had a turkey breast with some. Not over the, over the fixings, but <clears throat> I know I'll lose weight, get better shape riding this bike. And like I mentioned previously, Steve, the bike owner, so far has lost 42 pounds since owning his bike. And he has the same bike as me, but not with the roll off, but I spoke to him on the phone yesterday about how much I really enjoyed this bike, and I think I intrigued his interest in the roll off. Well, pushing buttons, and if you hit the button a little bit longer, it shifts, I think, three times a quick shift. And once you get used to hopefully shifting on the upswing, with the least amount of, uh, this guy see me, hopefully. You should always have a front light on your car so you can see it. Luckily, I'm not like this little dinky dude. Gear 14, downhill.
38.4. Be cool if they took that limiter off. <clears throat> Well, that was a great bike ride today. Hopefully you all enjoyed it as much as me. These brakes work really well. Gear six. This is always a nice little hill I have to come up after my bike ride. If I come in this direction, So today we talked about these comfort handlebars. Let's see if I can put the camera down a little bit. These comfort handlebars have a slight back to them, which makes it very comfortable. My little bell for pedestrians, but this also has like a moped motor currently i'm using this task 1200 as my little blinky light we have 39 miles 39 miles left where i had a lot of hills today we talked about these water bottles i have to remember to drink more And we definitely did the most hills that I've done so far in this bike. Just to wait for somebody to come out. I gotta get my little remote control. I burned 426 calories. We did 12.9 miles, 50 minutes. Average speed was 15.5. My average power is 26, but the the uh, boss looks like he did most of the work today. I did 1,068 feet of climbing today. Max speed was 39.4. That's pretty cool. All right. Thank you very much, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video.